welcome to um, this project that we built today, which is basically texturing uh, two trees, uh, you know. Um, and the trees are a palm tree and a regular tree. Okay, you will get the, uh, the palm tree trunks and its leaf. Uh, the other one you get just the tree trunk and its branches you have to create the leaf this time and the leaf are just a little patch polygon like that that you need to create but like that I want you to make sure to ensure that you understand the way leaves go so you need to uh, you'll find you'll have to find basically um, create two sets of textures alright for two different files the palm tree and the tree alright those are two different files you'll need to create in each file the tree trunks textures and the actual uh, leaf textures all right you guys uh, it's very important and i'm going to demonstrate that on the actual um tree trunks okay you guys uh, on the palm tree anyway sorry and i'm gonna start with the tree trunks and the leaf what what's very important to understand uh is that um uh, first of all i made um you're not going to texture every leaf okay what you're going to do is you're going to take one of those leaf all right and you are going to basically texture it and then you'll just switch duplicate that leaf that has been textured for the other leaves all right uh, that you don't have to do every leaf that's the smart way to do it so if you read the lecture uh, if you, i mean if you watch the video for that project you should do it this way if you don't do it this way that means you didn't watch the video okay so um, then after that you work a lot harder first things to do is that to create a projections for all the objects that's you're gonna be your job is to do that first okay you're gonna put uh, the texture of the leaf and the tree trunks on the same okay it doesn't really matter um, first of all let's make uh, um, you know a, a little projections of what's going on right here so let's try you gotta you gotta project uh, your object before so let's try a couple things so create UVs in the polygon menus. You gotta create UVs and let's try cylindrical for once. All right, and let's see what that gave us. Let's adjust it the proper size. All right, so let's go in all around uh, and let's go down in the window UV texture editor to look at our um, tree trunk. Okay, and it's not too bad actually, so we should be okay. That represent basically the projection represent. Uh, 2D representation of the 3D objects in 2D. Okay, um, and we're doing okay actually. We're doing pretty good. We have a couple things that could be uh, a little bit better, so we might just look at it if we can rotate it. Does it get us a better job? You know, so we rotate it until uh, you know we get where we want. All right, um, we're pretty close to it now, I think. So we rotate right there here that should be pretty close let's look at it again no that's the closest we were we're right here okay now we need to figure out what's what basically so first of all we're gonna scale it a little bit all right like that and we are gonna move it on the side we're going to look at what is what a little bit. We need to adjust the top of it. That would be a good experience with uh, UV mapping, actually. Uh, right there, this is all our stuff. Uh, let's look at it. Let's right click on it and go UVs. Now we look at that one right here and let's look where it's located. It's right there, as you can see. Um, now, that one is next to it. So those two should be next to it. Let's right click and see on edges. Yeah, that's what it should be. So we select that edge and what we do, we're gonna do a little sewing. That's actually all that. Um, let me do one thing first. Let me move the UV to where it belongs and where it be. two are the same okay so we can have uh, you know 
clean up our stuff a little bit like that all right and we can debate it but in this class we'll, we'll stop right here for that type of things um, so now what we need to do is um you know it's nice and tight and uh, we are going to want to uh, select one of the leaves right here okay and make sure it's nice and planar okay um so you're gonna go and go um make sure it's object mode and let's grab one from the top like that let's move it away for now so you can see it's right and that's our leaf okay now we're going to do a projection from the top view planner and we need to do the proper axis which is okay that's the green one which is the y okay we select y we're good and we say apply okay and that's going to give us that right here uh, basically um, let's do something first that was think and because it's rotated we're gonna have to rotate it right here which is a good exercise actually if you look at it right here it's been rotated a little bit so you you're gonna want to rotate it and get it back flat as much as you can like there all right and uh, do some scaling all right to get it back what you want now uh, we are gonna want to straight up a little bit so it was right there you know we're gonna want to straight up a little bit All right, so we're gonna go to UVs basically and with this right there let's see and we look at the at how it looks like and it's a little so we're not too bad actually it's we want to get back the same shape pretty much to be a little bit bigger this way should be good uh, though our palm leaf um, will probably be flat okay uh, whatever you need to find one actually and so let's look at that let's try to find one okay so I got texture for them um, we're gonna put all the textures on the one map tr trunks and leaf okay you guys so right click on it and go uh, to assign new texture let's put it a um, put it a Lambert for now actually you know and in the color map let's put a map a file this map so non procedural and let's get to our um, right here um, let's fix a lot of stuff palm tree right here we're gonna get that's our texture right here we have a palm tree texture like that okay so that created really quickly as you can see it's not helping in any way what we did for now we need to select our object go to the window go to the UV texture editor right here and we are gonna see our texture right there okay so now uh, it will be hard it's a little hard to see because I got a white background I'm sorry so right click UVs and select the UVs right there you'll see them right there okay um, now move it basically on top you'll see them there Okay, that's gonna force us to basically uh, rearrange a little bit the UVs so they look appropriate. Okay, so let's grab that right here, move it right there. So we want to get everything. All right, it's not a big deal because in reality we are gonna use uh, an alpha channel, a transparency channel. So that's gonna help us simulate basically those leaves all right so we just want to make it just right around it and we'll rearrange, uh, rearrange them anyway after so it's not too much of a problem okay put it around it There, that one needs to go down a little bit let's get the end of it right here all right like that okay now if you look at it it will look okay all right and uh, maybe a little short right here but we want the end or anything so it looks pretty good um, that might be wanted to shrink that a little bit in scaling so we might want to shrink that a little bit 